I'm describing. God is saying, I want to see that some of this scripture above that I may mention be demonstrated in you. I want us to take church for your spirit. And church is good because we jump and dance and clap and whatever. Say it good and be good, two different things. Say it and be rich, two different things. I was still in church. I get a look at the mirror. Just for that. Can I feel good? Yeah. Pass it for 10 bucks. No. You see, you know this. The man with money don't talk about money. Um, educated man don't talk about education. A man of beer you make to college. Every now and then he talk about college. Every now and then he talk about college. A man who go to university has not talk about talk about he just act intelligently. He just behave intelligently. He just walk intelligently. A man who is in God don't talk about what spiritual he is. He just live spiritual. Walk spiritual. Talk spiritual. Apply himself. Never tell him how long I'm safe unless you ask me. Don't tell him a Christian unless you ask me. But if you can't look at me, and you spend half an hour with me, ten minutes with me, and talk to me, if you can't tell me there's something different in me above you, then something is wrong unless you're just like me. I believe God is saying, where is the light? Oh, come on. Where is the light? Where is my expectation of you? Oh, I know you have time. Give it a beat your body. No, I know where I can give you the meal of your body. Let's look on the performance of a valid man. I would, I would hope that you could put down the manager for me. Second Chronicles, first Chronicles 22, verse 23. Second Chronicles 22, verse, second Chronicles 11, verse 22 and 23. If you can, I'll read it. Can you find it? Okay, it's all right, I have it here. Just listen. We read. The Bible said, Benaiah, the son of a valiant man of Kezi, Kabzi, who had done mighty deeds. Listen what a valiant man did. He slew two sons of Ariel of Moab. He went down also and slew a lion in the midst of a pit in the snow. Come on, church. Come on. Come on. But I mean, that's a warrior. He went down in a pit with a lion. You know what a lion is? And he slew the lion in a pit. It's not only that there were, it was a pit, there was snow there. He could not have stand up. But the power of God and the determination that he had, he slew the lion. He went, yes, verse 20, 23. And he slew an Egyptian, a man of great statue. He was a giant. Five cubic high. And the Egyptian in the Egyptian hand was a spear like a weaver beam. And he went down to him with a staff. And plucked this spear out of his hand and slew him with his own sword. Jesus have mercy. How he get in the pit, I don't know. Oh, come on, some of you are in some pit and you don't know how you get there. Pit have a way of just moving on. 
I'm the half thief. And before you wake your eyes, you fall into a pit. Peter's financial difficulties. Peter's health with issue. You don't know. But this man was in a pit. And a lion was in there. And so was there. My God, the odds was against him. But he rise up in faith. The real and strength of Almighty God stood up in him. And he draw out his sword. How he caught the lion, I don't know. But the Bible says, Sue him and came out alive. You can come out of your pit alive. I don't care what the devil told you. You can come out alive in the first place. You don't belong in it. He just went down there for a while. And you're going to pit for a while. God will bring you out all right. Wait on the Lord and be of good courage. Wait on the Lord and be of good courage. Be of good courage. Look back at the word courage again. Let's look back at the word wait on the Lord. Be of good courage and he will straighten your heart. He will straighten your heart. He will straighten your mind. He will straighten your spirit. He will straighten your soul. But you have, you have to be daring. You have to be fearless. You have to be firm. You need a hero is in the spirit. A hero is the man who go where others can go. A man who is a hero is a trendsetter. Hero set it. And you, it, it, it takes you something else to break it. Any potential, any potential runner expect to win and take the tackle from you said both. They gotta run. Now on the run, prepare to run, practice to run. They're gonna brutalize the body. They're gonna sweat. They're gonna prepare for war. Because that man is not gonna give up his title. He said, There's a title that you have that Jesus gave you. And the devil wants to house you. The devil wants to take it from you. Church of God, you're gonna be daring. You're gonna be bold. You're gonna be strong. You're gonna hold on to what God has given you. You're gonna say no to the devil. If you devour some resist, man, you will flee. But you understand what the goal, when they feet today, is coming back tomorrow. And they have some more devil coming with them. But if you seek the only one, one God, and that anointing that God has given to the church is stronger than any soul in the country. Wait to the Lord. Be of good courage. Psalm 34, verse 6. David said, This poor man cried. This poor man cried. Poor in this context does not always associated with does not have money or finance. Finance is poor means humble. Poor means humility. Poor means surrender. Poor means release to God. This man surrender and give everything to God. This poor man cried. Why you cry? Nobody cry unless you're extra happy. This context is not happy. He cried from the bottom of the soul because something down there was bothering him. There was issues down there, trouble down there. But this poor man cried and the Lord heard him and delivered him from all his fears. There's a fear that's not the land, but there's also deliverance in Jesus Christ. What I come to understand about the, the Christian faith, we take this thing to light. We take this thing to light. We take this thing to light. Too much of me is in my substance and little of me is gone to Christ. Too much of me is spent on the physical and little is, is on the eternal. When I die tonight, tomorrow, next year, year after, what do I carry with me? When I say goodbye while I'm gone, what do I have to carry? No matter what we put follow the flowers in the grave. But everybody will be better to use it because I'm not smelling it. <laughs> so give me the flowers now. Because like I said to them, you can cry as much as you want, I won't hear it. And you won't wait for me seven days, I won't come back. 
Yeah. And you know why I seek the Savior? It's your problem. I'm God. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
You would expect me to preach that. We Pentecostal people expect us to uh, expect to preach that. And sometimes we say, mm -mm. but that's what he said. Your soul need to be it need to be contaminated. Anyone who does not forgive has no peace of soul and communion with God. Pain is a position that intoxicates and kills. Maintaining wounds of the heart is a self-destructive action. Did you hear that? Do you understand what I'm reading? My God. Let me read again. Maintaining a wound of the heart is a self-destructive action. Sin is an antiphony. He who does not forgive sickness, sorry, he who does not forgive sickness spiritually, emotionally, and spiritually. My God. There, that is why the family must be a place of life and not of death. And in claim of cure and not disease. A stage of forgiveness and not of guilt. Forgiveness brings joy where sorrow produces pain and healing where pain causes disease. When I read it, all I could say is, search me. Oh God, I know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts. See if there be any uncontaminated, unforgiving, any grace and dirt that seconds in my system, in my mind. Cleanse me. Detox me from any sin. Psalms 4, verse 1 and 3. I waited patiently, patiently for the Lord. And he inclined unto me and here. Wait patience in the Lord. Patience means process. I wait patiently on the Lord. And though I see others are blessed, so I think that I'm not blessed. I see them drive cars that I wish I drive. They live in homes I wish I had. They, they have more than I, I, I wish I had. And it is not that I, 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 I'm doing everything I can. See, it's because what you are the hand of my you. you know what you're asking for? The husband you're asking for. You want him to be so saved. You want him to be a part of you, of me. Come on, I'm making him for you. I, I, I see him all day for you, but he needs a big over. I'm making him over. If he comes just like you, oh, you can't handle it. Neither can he handle you. Just as if I give you a certain meal, you can't handle it. It's, it's processing. It's processing. That position you wanted. I'm preparing you for it. You're too jumpy, you can't get it. You gotta deal with people are jumpy. If you're jumpy like they're jumpy, angel like they're angel, no, I need to calm you down. The job is there, but I'm waiting for you. If you will step up, you get it. Church, what God have in store for you? The boss, I have not seen, neither he heard, neither he can enter the heart of men, what God have in store for his children. God have a lot in store for us. We're simply playing yourself. I waited patiently, Lord. He heard my cry. Hear what David said. He brought me up also out of a horrible pit. What? Out of the mire. Remember when they caught the prophet Jeremiah? Truly in the pit. Bible said, and there was no water in there. But he sunk in the mire. 
Not when the whole water build up debris, hands are touched. And when, when the waters drink, what there is a mud. And they caught the man of God and thrown the pit. Yes, you may be in the pit. But you know what I love about God? He knows to get dirty with you. If you're dirty with pit, he come right down there with you. He come where you are. And he have always taken you out of the pit. And he will, he will, he will, he will not have pass it. Come on. And set my feet on a rock to stay. And establish my boy. God's about to set some of us up on a high pedestal. Let the heaven pull the carpet on your feet and let them show in the pit. But God is away coming down in the pit and set me up on a rock to stand. And Christ the solid rock I stand. All on the ground of a sinking sand. Not only that, not only that. My <laughs> Maybe I couldn't sing when I was in the pit. Maybe I couldn't sing when I was sunk in the mire. When they, 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 they mistreated me, arrested me, put me under the cellar. When the cellar was done enough, they threw me in the pit. And, 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 but thank God, I cried to God in the pit. You can cry to God from anywhere you are. That's what the devil can't take from you. The devil cannot take you from the communication with God. He cannot do that. He doesn't have that power. They put in dungeon. You can call the God from the dungeon. You can call the God from the miracle. You can call the God from the pit. You can tell him everything. Yes, he took me out of the miracle. And he set me up on a rock. And established my going. And he said, you know something. I can't just sing you like this. I'm going to put a sign in your heart. I sang a laughter, I sang a joy, I sang a gladness. You can praise him after the pit is praise. After the dungeon is praise. After the pit is worship. I'm done. Wake up the Lord!
But yesterday was bleak. And the bleakness still hangs around. But I see today. And just as you provide for the birds, you can provide for me. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Look down on every single individual that listened to me. Everyone that's registered in attendance today, whether they're left or they're present. Lord, you know them by name and number. You understand the very thoughts in their mind. Some are going through rough, crippling time, but I'm saying in the name of Jesus, they shall not die, but they will live. I'm saying they will come out of the mire. I'm saying that will come out of the pit. I'm saying their, their meal will be served. I'm saying their lots will be served. I'm saying in the name of Jesus the petition will be granted accordingly and you tell me that you have a way of giving extra. You bless the full measure. Shake it down, fresh down, and run it over. They may all the last one, but I'm praying you give them lots and crop. Oh God Almighty, they may ha 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 or something that, that you see that good for them. But I pray you transform, change the many, many from inside. Oh God, I curse it out of the devil right now. I pray God you put him to shame. Put him to shame. Put him to shame. Devil, in the name of Jesus, I'm saying stop. Your work is stink. It's smelling. It's having effect. But I'm saying in the name of Jesus, you do not have the last say. Yes, devil, you can lie. But Jesus has the last say. I, 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 I present everyone, everyone. One, everyone, everyone, in the name of Jesus. Let there be no more suicide. Let there be no suicide attack. Let them, let them out.